welcome to another Q&A, number three. Let's get started, y'all. This question comes from Sarah. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> Anyways, she asks, are you going to VidCon 2019? Um, I don't know if I'm going just yet, but I will try my damnedest to go again for a third year. Her second question comes from Anthony Lee, and he asks, when is your birthday? My birthday is June 12, which it was just a couple months ago. Question number three. Anne asks, would you ever come to New York and we both meet up with me juggernauts? That would be awesome as fuck, girl. You know, Anne, that would be so fucking amazing. If you and I and Jesse can all hang out in New York City, I hope we can do that one day. Question number four! McJuggernuggets fan page asks, what was it like meeting Jesse for the first time? Also, what's your favorite TV show? Well, it was an incredible experience getting to meet Jesse last year at VidCon, and also got to see him again this year at VidCon for the second time. Both times was so awesome. And I'm hoping I can attend for the third year, but at this point, I really don't know. I hope everyone gets a chance to meet Jesse because he really is a humble and caring person and a great YouTuber. And what's my favorite TV show? That's hard to say because I have like so many that are my favorite, but I love American Horror Story, Base Motel, Smallville, True Blood, Supernatural. Those are probably my, my top favorites. Wrong question number five. Yeah! This comes from Mason Edler, and he asks, what is your favorite songs ever, and what are your favorite artist bands ever? Well, one of my favorite songs is from Juliet Riley, and this is from My Virtual Escape. It was called Don't Have Doubt. One of my favorite artists would be, of course, Juliet Riley and Justin Timberlake. Favorite band? I would say Imagine Dragons. Sex! This comes from Miwa. Hey Miwa, love you. She asked, what was your favorite action scene in the episode of My Virtual Escape? My favorite one was with Isaac and Arachnid and their fight to the death in the episode Judgment Day. I thought that one was pretty cool and epic. Seven! Sean asks, what was the first video you watched by Jesse? I know you started watching him back in 2015. Also, what's your favorite food? The first video I watched of Jesse's was Psycho Dad Destroys Xbox. That was in 2015. I have been watching Jesse's content for three and a half years. I'm gonna continue to support my favorite YouTuber. My favorite food is uh, orange chicken and chow mein with the side of spring rolls and sushi like oh my god that is so amazing and so delicious eight always juggy ass how is it like meeting jesse at vidcon you're awesome Brittany. well thank you and i think you're awesome too in so many ways as far as getting to meet jesse it was great it was a great experience. For those that are planning to meet him for the first time, y'all are gonna have a blast. <laughs> he takes his time with his fans. He's very unique. He's not like any other YouTuber. He's a sweetheart. That's why we love him and appreciate what he does for us all the time. Wrong question number nine. This comes from Jacob Wardell, and he asks, when did you start watching McJuggernuggets? I started watching him in February of 2015. 10! This comes from Gage the Psycho, and he asks, what's your favorite genre of film? If you could travel to any other state or country to collab with another YouTuber, big or small, where would you go and who would you collab with? Well, my favorite genre of film would probably be drama and or thriller. As far as who I want to collab with, I would love to go to Jersey and collab with McJuggernuggets. 
that's always been a dream of mine. I know I had the chance at VidCon, but I got too nervous to ask. So I'm hoping I can collab with them at some point in the future for my channel or for his channel. That would be so awesome. 11! XD Zaps asked, what is your favorite scene and episode from My Virtual Escape and why? Well, my favorite scene would probably be um, from the episode Brothers in Arms during the shootout. The reason I love that scene is because it was so intense and it felt like you were actually there at that moment. My favorite episode would probably be Judgment Day because I love the dialogue between Arachnid and Isaac when they're about to have their final battle with each other. There were just so many shocks and twists and one big cliffhanger at the end. It really felt like I was watching the finale in that one. And I just really loved that episode 100%. Question number 12. Lewis asks, have you considered doing a series like NVE full cast episode and truly epic? Um, probably not. I don't think I'm gonna ever have a full cast or anything that's as amazing as my virtual escape. For me, it's hard to get so many people into my videos since everyone is busy with their own lives and work and etc. I am gonna continue with my series, which I stopped back in December. Stay tuned because I'm gonna start back up the next month or two. Jacob Wardell asked, what is your favorite video that you made? Well, that's a hard one to say. Probably be the one I did last year called The Lost World. It was at least six to eight hours of editing, but it was worth it. Because now I love it and I know a lot of people love it too. So I would say that's good. Question number 14. This comes from Sarah and she asks, how was your day today? Sarah, my day was great. How was your day? I really hope your day was amazing. Question number 15. This comes from Cornelius. First off, such a huge fan of you. Thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. It means a lot to me that you are very supportive of my channel. That's the reason why I do what I do is for y'all. I enjoy making them, but I enjoy seeing y'all's reactions, how y'all admire and find entertainment by just watching my videos. It brings a smile to my face. I love y'all's support. I love every single one of you each day. So thank you, thank you, thank you. He asked, where do you see yourself in five years? I can't wait to see you in future films and or shows. I see myself just keep making YouTube videos grow my channel more, and hopefully get to my goal of 10k or more subs. I'm focusing on my singing and acting, that way I can be better at it. But yeah, that's my future goal down the road. Question number 16! This comes from Anne. Hey Anne! What's up? She asked if you could have been in any of the Juggernaut series, which one would have you liked to have been in? I would say all of them. I would love to have been in every single one of his series. That would be my answer. Question number 17. This one comes from Mary. Hey Mary, what's up? And her question is, when are you going to Europe? I'm planning to go to Europe with my dad around May or October of next year. It hasn't been set in stone yet, so. Not exactly sure, but if something comes up in between or around in those months, we'll probably have to hold off until 2020. We'll just see. Question number 18! This comes from Peter, and he asks, Hey Brittany, what state do you live in and what is your favorite NBE episode? I live in Texas, and my favorite episode of NBE would be Judgment Day. Question number 19 comes from Jada, and she asks, do you think you'll ever be in any of Jesse's future series? 
I would really love the opportunity to act in any of his future series down the road or just be a part of Rigid Studios and just help out with his channel and so on and so forth. That would be a dream come true if that happened. I'll be praying and hoping one day the dream will be a reality. Question number 20. This question comes from Ben and he asks, who are your top five favorite YouTubers? Well, my number one favorite YouTuber of all time goes to McJuggerNuggets. I watch him on a daily basis. I've seen every video of his. There's not really many people I do watch on the YouTube platform besides him nowadays. There's others that I watch every now and then like Smosh, Fine Brothers Entertainment, Kid Behind a Camera. Last question! This question comes from Jared Hill and he asks, what do you think of NVE of McJuggernugget series? I think it's incredible of what Jesse put together and what he has crafted and created for us fans. Editing, acting, directing, producing, all the characters that he came up with is amazing. And we all can relate to Isaac in so many ways, some more than others. He told such an awesome story that we can always look back on and remember. And it took so many years to finally put this thing together for us. I'm happy that it's now out and we can watch it over and over again. Jesse is truly talented and I hope he wins a streamy this year because he truly deserves it. I'm rooting for him to win an award this year. So good luck, Jesse. Thank you guys so much for watching my Q&A video. I know it's been a while since I did one, but hey, tonight I feel like doing one. Anyways, hit that subscribe button for more content. Turn on post notifications because you guys don't want to miss what's coming up on my channel. Uh, check out all my social media links in the description. Drop a like and share this video if you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!